Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I want to say yesterday when we wanted to contribute, I think uh, time got uh, a little bit, and uh, Mr. Speaker, to also welcome students that are on public gallery. I hope uh, they are following the debate keenly and learning a lot. Mr. Speaker, the Cotton Industry Development Bill 2023 is a very important bill. Mr. Speaker, we are looking at developing the capacity of farmers. My county of 80% to 90% entirely depend on, on farming like tea, coffee, milk, uh, among others, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir. Uh, this bill has come as a better time because we need to revive. There is what we call Kigomi uh, textile, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir. There is also what we call river tax, and river tax is being revived in Eldoret, Mr. Speaker. And I remember the Indian government in the last dispensation has given around $4 billion to revive uh, uh, Eldoret river tax and also uh, uh, Kikomi uh, textile, which in any way, if we revive these generis and uh, textile processing, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, it will allow us, Mr. Speaker, to be able to do a lot in terms of cotton. So, Speaker, my neighboring counties, of, uh, I've seen Nandi has a potential of growing cotton. But from the schedule I see, they have become uh, selective. Although I am aware where Senator Okoiti Omtata, the people's watchman, the, the, he normally says, Senator of Republic of Kenya, but elected by the people of Busia, uh, as the biggest ginary in, in, in the western part. And I'm happy that uh, the chairperson, Senator Murango, and his committee were able to visit uh, uh, Busia County and we follow the proceedings. Well, Mr. Speaker, we are waiting for the report. Mr. Speaker, I'm also made aware that Meru uh, is also what we are pamba, but not the famous pamba we use in politics. I know there is somebody who says in this country that Yeni will become a pamba. But that is not the pamba we are talking about. This is the pamba that is serious about the crop, Mr. So Speaker. And I think Nandi also has a potential because I've seen Rift Valley, they are talking about Baringo, Elgeo, Maracuet, Kericho. Kericho and Nandi have almost similar climatic conditions. And therefore, the, the revival of cotton is very important. Mr. So Speaker, we are looking at providing incentives as per the plan or the manifesto that President William Ruta has put in place. And I'm happy that Senator Siengo is a good student of the plan by His Excellency President William Ruta. And therefore, uh, this revival is very important. We should speak to it, Mr. Speaker, so that we ensure we revive. The, glory, the, the golden opportunity, Mr. Speaker, is to revive but to look at sustainability. When you look at Millennium Development Goals, you look at uh, 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 Sustainable Development Goals, we should look at a way of subsidizing production over consumption. And that should be the, the real motivation, Mr. Speaker, in terms of, of going into the future, Mr. Speaker. And therefore, cotton is an issue that is cross-cutting across the country, Mr. Speaker and it should be given the necessary attention it should be. And I'm, I'm happy, Mr. Speaker, that the Senate has prepared a raft of legislative intervention to support farmers. We have coffee uh, development bill, we now have coffee bill, uh, and I was telling the chairperson of Ankara, Senator Murango, who is the distinguished senator of Kirinyaga, that the Agriculture Com Committee is doing extremely well, because I can see the number of bills, Mr. Speaker, including mine, the livestock uh, and produce uh, and, and against theft of livestock also is part. And I think agriculture is fully devolved. I'm excited that this session, the fourth session of the Senate, will become a serious session, Mr. Speaker, that will be known as agricultural session. Because without agriculture, this country is not there, Mr. Speaker. You can see the tourism, uh, foreign exchange has collapsed because of COVID. We now had a foreign income, Mr. Speaker, Madam Speaker, sorry, I know the change at the seat, that the, the, the aspect of now we need to revive agriculture to reclaim their position of giving us 
the high, the highest foreign exchange honor, uh, 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 Madam Speaker. And therefore, uh, I, I want to commend this bill and uh, to, to congratulate Senator uh, uh, Siengo for this, uh, for this wonderful bill, but express a, a few reservations here and there. Uh, for example, uh, Mr. Speaker, I've seen a provision that looks idle, but it will be very dangerous in the long run. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, when I look at Part 3, Clause 23, uh, D, Mr. Speaker, and it's also exciting that the, uh, the Senator of Nairobi is in the House today. Uh, uh, Adam is, uh, is in the House today. Part 3, Role of County Governments, Clause 23, 1D. It says, regulate the cutting or destruction of cotton in order to conserve and protect the resources devoted to the cotton industry in the prospective county. So, Speaker, this is the provision we fought. You remember in the Colonial Tea Act, they had said it was criminal to cut even a, a tree of tea under the Tea Act. Mr. Speaker, <laughs> Madam Speaker, point of order. Uh, uh, yes, I, I rise on a point of order, understanding order number 39 on the quorum of the Senate. I don't think we have got quorum to conduct business. Uh, can you confirm, Clark? Uh, uh, it has been reported to me that we don't have quorum, so I wish to order that the quorum bell be rung for 10 minutes. <laughs> 